Hello everyone, Mike Grempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at how to utilize the F9 function key when you're either checking your formulas, looking for errors, or validating errors, or just wanting to see how various portions of your formula are performing. So let's see how we can do that in Excel. So here's a little data table I have that has 12 months of the year, 10 products, and a formula down in cell B17, as you can see it up here, will basically determine the product, the beginning month, and the ending month, and sum up the values for that range. So for example, in this case, product 6 from February to June, if I highlight that, you can see the value is 6311. 6311 is the sum that I'm getting here. But let's say that the sum it's returning is not what I anticipated. So I wanted to check within the formula to see how each portion of that formula is performing or what the values that formula is returning. So for example, let's say I went into the match formula here. I clicked just inside the parentheses of the match formula. You can see the syntax for the match formula comes up. If I click on any of the arguments, it will highlight that. So lookup value is B14. The lookup array is that. The match type is zero. If I select, for example, lookup value and I hit F9, it tells me it's product six. And that's exactly what I want to look up. I'm going to hit Control Z to undo that. Let's say under the address function, the row number, I want to see if it's pulling in the right row number. Again, I clicked on that argument within the address function, hit F9, and it's pulling in row number 7. So I can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Product 6, that's exactly what it's supposed to be. Again, I'll hit Control Z to undo that. Say I want to see what the range that it's going to sum. So I might highlight inside of this indirect formula, hit F9, and I see that the first argument in the sum function is going to be C7, and the second half of that sum range is going to be G7. So it's totaling C7 to G7, and that, again, is correct. So I've used the F9 key to check to see the results of the different sections of my formula or to test again to see if it's not returning what I anticipate it to be. Now, again, once you do this, if you just hit Enter, the formula is going to maintain those changes that you made. So you have to make sure to either escape out of that or in my case, I'm hitting Control Z to undo those changes so it allows the formula to go back and perform as we expect it to be. And that's how you can use the F9 key when you're building or checking your formulas in Excel. So thanks for watching this tutorial. If you found it beneficial, please share it, like it, or give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my blog at my website, excel-bytes.com, or any of the social networks you see below. Have a great day and happy excelling.